I'm surrounded by Mother Nature's beauty. This mountainside is a prime location that provides breathtaking views, but all these trees, all this dry vegetation, unfortunately increases the fire danger. And as the climate warms, the danger is only getting worse. Now, wildfire season has become a year-long threat, burning twice the area now than in 1970. It's true that these fires, they can reinvigorate nature, but when they flare up in populated areas, they all too often lead to total destruction. Now, of course, weather plays a huge role on how explosive a wildfire can be. And over the past few decades, the climate over the western U.S. has become more conducive for wildfires with overall warmer, drier weather. Like where I am today, the overgrown brush has dried out from the lack of rain, leaving plenty of available fuel to burn. The air is hot and extremely dry with dew points in the teens with winds getting stronger. Now, believe it or not, more than 80 percent of wildfires start because of human activity. Often it's a stray ember from an unattended campfire or a tossed cigarette that can ignite Night a firestorm and it doesn't take much and can spread quickly. Now, climate trends warn that these fires will continue to be more intense and burn longer than just a few decades ago. Now, the smoke itself is hot and races high into the sky, becoming visible for miles. So let's get above that smoke for a better view. Unfortunately, the strong winds are really giving these flames life. In fact, by the looks of it, this fire is spreading at ludicrous speeds and becoming an unstoppable firestorm. Fires like this one can consume up to a football field every second, just like the Thomas fire did in December of 2017. And since heat rises, fires travel faster as they move uphill. Wind can also push embers downwind and start new fires. This is known as spotting putting homes on the mountainside in great danger. Wildfires can turn forest floors and even neighborhoods into nearly unstoppable raging infernos with temperatures reaching over 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds carry the thick smoke for miles, turning day into night and making it difficult to breathe. If you live in a wildfire prone area, be sure you and your family have a plan of action. Residents could have a few hours to only a few minutes to escape to safety. Now, hopefully your neighborhood will never be in the path of a wildfire like this one, but the frequency and size of the extreme fire disasters has increased as the average temperature rises. And scenes like this uh, could become a frightening new reality.